All right, so on number one, we're wanting to change these to fractions. All right, is there anything in front of this decimal? No, so do I need anything in front of my fraction? No. no. So let's just draw our fraction bar. All right. What is going to go on top of my fraction? Peyton? 35. Are there any questions on where you got 35 from? Whatever's behind the decimal. All right. What's going to go on the bottom of my fraction? Christian? 100. Very good. All right. Remember, if there are two numbers after the decimal, I need two zeros. Five is in the hundreds place. All right, 35 and 100, we always want to ask ourselves, will it simplify? Raise your hand. Um, Mary what? I can divide them by 5. I'm going to write that on both of these. 35 divided by 5 is? 7. 100 divided by 5, I might want to come over here and do that to the side. 5 will go into 10. 2 times. 2 times. 2 times 5 is? 10. I subtract and get 0. I still have a zero that I'm going to put that on top of. So what do I get? 20. 20. All right, 7 and 20. Can I simplify? No. No, 7 is prime. Can 7 go into 20 perfectly? No, no so we're good. That's our answer. Okay. Let's look at number 2. All right, is there anything in front of my decimal? Yes. Yes. So what do I need in front of my fraction, Braden? What's in front of my decimal? 12. So I'm going to put 12 in front of my fraction. Okay. So I put 12 in front of my fraction. Are there any questions on where I got that 12 from? We have 12 in front of our decimal, so we put 12 in front of our fraction. Okay. What's going to go on top of my fraction here? Jessica? 9. And Haley, what's going to go on the bottom? Ten. All right, there's one number after the decimal, so I want one zero to make the number ten. All right. Can nine and ten simplify? No. No, they're back to back. Eight, nine, ten. They're back to back, so that's good. All right, so that's my answer. I did not even have to simplify on that one because it would. Okay. Questions about number two? Okay. Number three, is there anything in front of my decimal? Yes. yes. So, Keegan, what's going to go in front of my fraction? 75. So, I'm going to put 75 with a fraction bar next to it. Remember, that's that part in front. All right. What's going to go on top of my fraction? Morgan? 225. What is going to go on the bottom of my fraction? Kelsey? 1,000. Very good. Three numbers behind the decimal, three zeros. Okay. Can I simplify, Gabriella? What number can go into this? Five. So I'm going to divide them by five. All right. So I'm going to come over here to the side where I have some room. I'm going to do five divided into 225. Can five go into two? No. Can 5 go into 22? Four times. So I'm going to put the 4 on top of that second 2. 4 times 5 is 20. When I subtract, I get? Bring down the 5. 5 will go into 25. 5 times, which gives me 25, so I get 0. Okay, so I get 45 on top. Oops, hold on. I forgot. 75 is really important. 45 on top. On the bottom, guys, I'm going to show you a simple way to divide this. We know 5 will go into 10, right? Can y'all see where I've covered that up? So now that's just 10. So 5 will go into 10. How many times? Two, Two times. After that 10, what's left? Two zeros. Two zeros. So 5 will go into that 10 twice, and then I have two zeros that I'm going to add on to that. Okay, it makes it a little bit quicker. All right, 45 and 200. Can I simplify that, Noah? Yes, what can I divide by? Five. Five again. Okay, I'm going to make sure I write my 75 first this time. 
45 divided by 5, what does that give me? Um, Jeremy? 9. 9. Okay, I'm going to use that trick again. I know 5 will go into 20. How many times will 5 go into 20? 4, and then I have a 0 left over. So I get 9 over 40. Noah? Yes, but they would both have to end in a zero. All right, good question. For you to use 10, they would need to both end in zero. So, guys, this is my answer. All right, since I used five twice, I think what you're thinking is five and five gives me 10 right now. But what happens is five times five is 25. So the number we actually could have used in the beginning is 25. It's probably easier in that case for us to just use five twice. Okay. All right, are there any questions about those first three? Okay. You have the next three for homework. I want us to move down. I'm going to look at 7, 8, and 9 with you. 7, 8, and 9 with you. All right, remember on number 7, do I care about the 6 right now? No, we do not care about the 6. I only care about the fraction. Um, Jaca Jalea, what's going to go at the door? Remember, we don't care about the whole number. I only care about the fraction. At the door, I need the denominator, which is just 5. So I'm going to put 5 at the door. In the house, I'm going to put 1. All right, are there any questions on what I've done so far? I do not care about the 6 right now. Okay. I'm trying to make this a decimal, so I need to add a decimal, and we can add a... Zero. Make sure you go ahead and raise that decimal to the roof. Five will go into one. Zero, zero times. Five will go into ten. Twice. Twice. Two times five is ten. ten. I get zero left over. I'm going to pause here. All right. I'm going to write my answer up here next to my fraction. What number is in front of my fraction? Six. Six. So what number is going to go in front of my decimal? Six. I'm going to put six and then a decimal. My division should tell me what goes behind it. What was behind the decimal there, RJ? Two. two. So my answer is 6.2. Am I going to circle that division part? Yes. No. You only circle my 6.2. Yeah. Make sure you circle your answer because we don't want for your math teacher to think that 0.2 is your answer. It's that 6.2, okay? All right. Number eight. What am I going to put at the door? Uh, Morgan? Six. Six. And what's going to go in the house, Morgan? Four. Four. We do not care about the 94 right now. Very good job. All right, I'm making a decimal, so let's add a decimal and a zero. Don't forget to raise it up to the roof, okay? All right. Christian, how many times will six go into four? Think about that again. How many times will 6 go into 4? Zero. Zero. And you were jumping ahead. How many times will 6 go into 40? 6. That was a good answer. 6 times 6 is? 36. 36. When I subtract, I get? 3. 4. 4. If I add a 0 and bring it down, now I'm doing 6 will go into 40. 6 times. That gives me 36. When I subtract, I get 4. I can add a 0. 6 will go into 40. Six times. Do y'all see what's happening up here? It's repeating. All right, so let's go ahead and write our answer. Now that we know it's repeating, let's write our answer. All right, um, Carlos, what's going to go in front of my decimal? What's going to go in front of my decimal? 94, very good. That's in front of my fraction, so I put it in front of my decimal. All right, what am I going to write behind my decimal, Peyton? Six. Just six? But with a line on top. Very good. So my answer is 94.6 with that repeating bar on top. Okay. Number nine. What is going to go at the door on number nine, RJ? Fifteen. Fifteen, and in the house? Eight. Eight. All right, let's go ahead and add our decimal and a zero. zero. Before we start subtracting, make sure we 
bring it, or before we start dividing. Sorry, bring it to the top. All right. 15 will go into 8. Mm -hmm. Your time. 15 will go into 80. Three. Three. All right, and remember, guys, if, like, it's a big number, like 15, you can come over here to the side, do 15 times 1 is 15. 15 times 2 is 30. 15 times 3 is 45. We're just adding 15 each time. When I add 15 to 45, that gives me 60. When I add 15 to 60, I get 75. When I add 15 to 75, I get 90. Okay, have I made it above 80? Yeah, in fact, 75 is the number I want, so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to put 5 right there. 5 times 15 was? 75. And that's going to subtract that, and I get 5. Is anything repeating yet? No. No, so I'm going to add a 0 and bring it down. 15 will go into 50 how many times? 1, 2, 3. three. So that's that 45, so I'm going to put 3. 3 times 15 is? 45. When I subtract, I get? 5. When I add a 0 and bring it down, now do you all see that repetition happening? So 15 will go into 50, 3 times again, I get 45, I subtract, I get 5, I'm going to keep getting 5 every single time, right? So that 3 is going to be repeat. Alright, let's write our answer. What goes in front of the decimal? Christian? What goes in front of the decimal? Noah? Noah? You can put a zero. Peyton? Nothing. Is there anything in front of the fraction? No. So we're going to put nothing in front of the decimal. So there's my decimal. What's going to go behind the decimal? Braden? Bulgar? What goes behind the decimal? Five. Is that all? And? Is that all? With a line. All right, make sure your line is only on top of the 3 because that's the only number that actually repeated. Okay? So there's a six additional examples. All right, I want you doing 4, 5, and 6 and 10, 11, and 12. All right, if you need some help, I'll be up here.